always exciting to be at the Holy Trinity Classical Christian School in Beaufort, learning about all the wonderful educational opportunities they have for the students. Joining us in today's show, we are going to talk to Reverend Joe Lawrence. He is the interim headmaster. We'll also be speaking with Reverend Todd Simonis, who is going to be chaperoning the very special senior trip. Eliza Gelliard, a senior, is going to also share why she's excited. Then we'll be speaking with Benjamin Wallace, upper school humane letters teacher, and senior Sam Moore. So stay tuned for this episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV at Holy Trinity Classical Christian School in Beaufort. And it's always exciting to be back here and follow all the great, exciting things that we're doing. And Reverend Joe Lawrence is going to be talking with us today, giving us some updates. I well, guess Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. And it's an exciting year here at Holy Trinity. Um, if you um, go walk the school grounds, you'll see our new uh, multi-purpose building, which will be a gym, a performing arts center is well underway. We're looking forward to taking occupancy of that new space uh, come uh, summer, moving into the next school year. Uh, so very excited about that. And we're getting back into the swing of things here in the new year. That is exciting. I always have a a new thing for us to learn about and we've been seeing the building underway so mm -hmm. I know we're excited about that and your staff and everyone has got to be and of course it's enrollment time too right yeah it might seem early to some but it's not for us uh, it's now open enrollment for uh, uh, pre-k all the way through 12th grade uh, for next year um, and I would encourage you if you're thinking about enrolling uh, now's the time to inquire come we'll give you a tour uh, you can sit in on classrooms and chapel uh, wonderful opportunity now to get to know the life of the school uh, and classes fill up so enroll now yeah and I love how you give the parents an opportunity to get involved and see like a day schedule and before yeah they make well a decision. parental so involvement great. is absolutely crucial to education yes. and it's indispensable to classical christian education so as much as we can get parents involved into the classroom uh participating in what their students are learning uh the better absolutely so today we got uh, a special topic we're going to talk about you've got a book some um, course curriculum and i'm going to let you start with about c.s lewis yes uh well uh, what I'm interested in uh, developing over the next few years here at uh, Holy Trinity is not just education for children, although that's our primary task, of course, uh, but also open up the kinds of things that we're learning and teaching within the classroom uh, to the community, to parents, to grandparents, to people who are simply interested in the kinds of investigations into the truth and mm -hmm. learning that we do here and opening that up to adults as well. Um, so in keeping with that, uh, this will be the second uh, adult education class we've offered. Uh, and this time it'll be on C.S. Lewis's The Abolition of Man, which is just one of the most important foundational books for the classical Christian movement uh, and just for what it means to be a Christian in the modern world today. Uh, it'll be a two-week session, uh, two-week lecture series on February 21st and 28th, 6 to 7 p.m. Uh, here at the school and we'll be diving into this very important book um, and it's open to the whole community, uh, free of charge uh, as a, a gift to the community, if you That's will. That's wonderful. Give me a snapshot for those who are not familiar with that particular book. Of course, I'm familiar with C.S. Lewis. Mm -hmm. What's the reason behind you selecting that particular book? What's a little quick summary of the plot? Or Great the question. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, well, many people know C.S. Lewis from uh, his beloved children's series, The Chronicles of Narnia, which are wonderful stories uh, about a mythical, fantastical world. Um, C.S. Lewis actually was very interested in education and what happens within, edu within the educational scene. Um, and this book was prompted because C.S. Lewis, who was a professor at Oxford, was given a grammar textbook uh, to look into and approve, and maybe he could do a blurb on the back of the book like they do. 
And as he was looking into this book, he grew more and more concerned about what was being taught in schools. So this was a grammar textbook to teach students how to write well. And what he encountered was a whole philosophy of relativism and the denial of the truth um, and the sense that uh, all value judgments are just expressions of our own wishes and feelings. Um, and students were sort of imbibing this as they were trying to learn how to write properly constructed sentences. And so he wrote this book against that sort of thing uh, to call people uh, back to the sense that, well, when we talk about, let's say, justice, or we, we talk about kindness, or we talk about goodness, or we talk about beauty, we're actually talking about real things within the world rather than just how we feel about things. Mm -hmm. And those couple of points that you mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, kindness and gentleness, reminds me of fruits of the spirit yes. that are biblical, of course, and aren't those so important in today's world to just exhibit those because that's lacking. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. without those kinds of values that we all truly believe in and think this is a real way to be human and to act and to treat one another, without, without that, uh, we tend to lose touch with our humanity. And so that's what the title is, if we, uh, the abolition of man, if we uh, deny values such as justice and kindness and goodness and truth and beauty, uh, then what we're actually doing is we're abolishing humanity itself. Yeah, so we really need to instill in people that we need to practice those things in our everyday life. That's right, and that's yeah. really what we're about here at Holy Trinity, yes. uh, which mm -hmm. is we are resisting this uh, abolition of man that we see going on in society and teaching our students what maybe even better than teaching, uh, we are helping students experience the truth of justice and goodness mm -hmm. and kindness and self-control and all of what, as you said, the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. And by offering this to the adults in the mm -hmm. community, that hopefully will sort of filter down into the people that they reach, whether it's students or grandkids or you know, fellow community members, I think that's a great thing. Yeah, that's what we're aiming mm -hmm. for. Uh, we're staking this whole thing that uh, if we impact every generation, then uh, it's like the rising tide that raises yes, all the boats. Absolutely. Well, we're out of time already. And uh, so if you all want to find a little bit more, contact Reverend Lewis and I encourage you to, he encourages you to sign up for this free community service. And we will be right back with more 843 TV.